Salo 2232AF. Uh, problem with the uh, power on this. This is all you get. Fashion backlights. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the back off. Uh, first of all, I'm going to reposition the TV and take the back off. I'm going to start by taking all the screws off from around the, uh, the edge of the back cover. There's two here at the bottom, one each side of the uh, stand. You don't need to take the stand off. Four screws on the top here. One down here on the left hand bottom side. I know it's just how it's that. Now we have two screws. Another two down. Now, be very careful, there's leads that go onto this because you've got DVD uh, in built onto this as well, and you've got an on off switch and you've got various buttons up here. Yeah. I'll just show you a shot of what's up inside here. Take this cable here out. And now you're left with um, your on off switch down here and, and these. Now, let's start out. now I can see the problem straight away. It's um, capacitors again on the power supply. As you can see there, there's four capacitors bulging on this board here. So I'm going to remove that and replace those capacitors. I'm not going to show the desoldering process. I have enough videos done on desoldering. So I'm just going to replace those um, and uh, give it a try. Start by taking off the connectors. Then we have four screws holding the board. the four screws out. Now these are the capacitors I'm gonna take out. The capacitors are rated at a thousand UF uh, sixteen volt hundred and five degree uh, they are polarized, so you have to make sure that you put them in the correct orientation into the PCB. Um, negative leg goes to this mark in here. You got the darker side of the capacitor here. Negative leg goes to that. All I have to really now is solder them in the place, clean the board, and put it back in the uh, unit. Just have to put the four screws in. 
We have two soft tappers and two uh, regular type screws. Soft trappers go down to the bottom. The other side, the mains lead. And then we got our regular type screws into the metal port. And we can't forget our alert lead as well. That's got to be tucked in underneath this screw. Now we put this cable in. And then we have our mains lead. It's in here. Yeah. All I can do now is uh, reposition the camera and TV and plug it in and see what happens. I just plug it in now and see what happens. I'm going to power it up now. And there we are. We're up and working. And you. Okay. A uh, simple repair. Uh, takes about 30 minutes uh, to take the back off. Uh, take the uh, power supply off, move the capacitors, uh, resolder them in, and then put the back on. About 30 minutes repair. Um, you have to make sure you lo use uh, low ESR type um, capacitors in their, uh, um, that position, otherwise it will be back in about three months with capacitor bulging again. Um, all remains for me to do now is uh, put the back on. I'm just going to reposition the unit and uh, there put the screws in. I'm going to start by putting in the screws around the outer edge of the, the rear cover. There's one at the bottom the main corner as you look at from the rear. Two, uh, one each side of the, uh, the stand and another one over here on the left hand side bottom. Then we have four screws going along the top. One here, each side of the customer controls. Now one on the top left hand corner. Screws and these ain't self tappers, these are normal type screws. The, metal. the self tappers normally go into plastic, not always, sometimes into uh, metal as well. Two. That's the unit back together again. Don't forget to. Uh, Plug any deeds that you've disconnected from the rear cover into the main board. Um, the one that goes up to this button unit, the customer controls here, you have to take that out because uh, it's too short to be able to do any work. So make sure you put that back in before you put the back cover in, otherwise you won't be able to use your, your customer controls, you'll have no operation for them. TV will work with your remote control, but uh, you won't be able to use the customer controls. Hope that's of some help to someone. Uh, thanks for watching.